Hi, I'm Mark with Rote Notes. Today, we want to talk about TPMS, what comes in the box, and how to install it. Hey, welcome back. So we've ordered, or I've ordered, a TPMS system for my motorhome. TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring System. As you may know, Class A motorhomes, or most motorhomes, don't have any kind of tire pressure monitoring systems installed, like you find in cars, for instance. So with motorhomes, fifth wheels, travel trailers. It's something you have to install after you purchase it. It's relatively easy to do. Um, there are several companies that offer good TPMS systems. I personally have chosen the TPMS system from Easy RV Products or EEZ RV Products. They are well worth the money, and when you shop for them, you can find a couple of different sensor and valve systems. Um, you can find the amount of sensors that you need for your particular RV, so all those things you need to think about up front. I have six tires on here, so I ordered a system that comes with six, six sensors or six stems. And I also opted out to get the, the flow-through sensors. Flow-through basically means that once you install the sensor onto your valve stems, you don't have to take them off in order to add air to the tire. Those sensors remain on the tire and you can add air right through them. So that is a flow-through sensor. We just got this in the mail the other day. I ordered it from Facebook, I'm sorry, from Amazon. And you can find this same unit on our website also, in our store at rotenotesrv.com. Now let's open it up and see what's in the box. Okay, so here's the box. The first thing we find when we open the box is we have a instructional instruction manual. Underneath it we will find our our monitor. A window mount for the monitor. Our two four, six flow-through sensors. So this end gets attached to the valve stem on each tire. And then here, just like you have on a regular tire, is your valve stem now, that you can add air to it. Okay, and underneath here we have an additional little packet that has all your, your cigarette lighter attachment, your USB cord attachment, and also a numbering system, which is going to be the first step in the process of installing your TPMS. We're going to go through that next. In addition to, here is a, an additional bracket if you want to just attach it to your, to your dashboard. You can use screws if you don't want to use the, uh, the window suction cup attachment. Here's another uh, more permanent attachment bracket. 
Okay, in the instruction manual, on page eight, you will see, start your setup here. And it's going to talk about the number kit, which we have here. Now we need to number each sensor according to where they go onto your RV. And on the last page of this manual, you will have a diagram where you can write in the numbers that you assign each valve to. So if I assign this valve number one, I will write it, and I assume this is going to be the front driver side. I look at my diagram, I go to my RV, this attachment here is if you have trailers, and I would put a number one right here onto the left side or the driver's side of my RV. And however you want to assign each sensor, that is totally up to you. I will go with one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we have set up our sensors. We have numbered them and we entered them into our log. As you can see, all six sensors are now numbered and entered in our log. I have also entered my alarm settings for high pressure and low pressure. Now Easy Tire recommends that you do 20% for high sensor alerting and 10% below. So if your PSI is 100, your high alert will be 120 PSI, which is 20%, and your low alert will be 90 PSI, which is 10%. Now obviously it is very important, shut this down, it is important that you find out what the correct tire pressure is on your RV. Now there are several sources that you can, you can go to, The source that I chose is I actually called Thor Direct, the manufacturer, to their customer service and I asked them, what is the recommended tire pressure for my particular RV? They're going to ask you what year it is and they're going to tell you what your cargo carrying capacity is and all those things. And my units recommended air pressure is 100 PSI. However, if my cargo carrying capacity is above 50%, then my PSI that is recommended by the manufacturer that it is dropped down to 85%. So it is very important to, when you have your RV fully loaded, gas in it, all the things that you take with you, it is a very good idea to go and weigh your truck. Weigh your RV, um, go to a CAT scale for instance, it's a very easy uh, way to weigh your truck. I will have a video coming up on that as well. Just to see what your gross vehicle weight is now. So I'm going to start out at 100 PSI. I am assuming right now that it is, so I'm starting at 100 PSI, however, um, down the road, when I get gassed up, all those things ready to go, I will go weigh my truck. And if I need to adjust it later, I will. Okay, the next step in the process is to program each sensor to our monitoring device. And again, following the instructions, we're going to turn the unit on right here on the side, flip the switch up, and the unit turns on. We are programming, programming our sensors now to the unit. So 
So we're doing number two, which is going to be the passenger tire. Up here, you see it blinking. Put your sensor right next to your unit and push the code button one time until you see a code and it is now programmed. Do this with all other sensors. Okay, it is now time to install all of my flow-through sensors to the valve stems of each tire on my RV. Sensors have been installed onto each tire. The unit is now going through each sensor that I've installed and programming it. it takes about five to ten minutes for it to complete, and that is all there is to it to the installation of this TPMS. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below for me. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, and you can visit us also online at roadnotesrv.com. You can find us on all the social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as on Our Village. If you're new to Our Village, which is a community for RVers, go over there, sign up, and join our group at Road Notes. That is rvillage.com. If you want to become a Road Notes patron, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Road Notes. I appreciate it. See you guys next time. Bye.